In this video, you'll learn how to export translatable text strings from Adobe Illustrator document and import back translation with the help of scripts applied. In this example, we'll be working with an English file that contains a number of text strings for translation. The scripts we are showing in this video can be applied to a bunch of files placed in one folder. Thus, you can export and import text simultaneously just in one click. First, we need to export all text strings and save them in a CSV file. Go to File, Scripts, Illustrator Export Text. In a window that appears, navigate to a folder with the Illustrator file where a CSV file with exported strings for translation will be created and click OK. Please make sure that the latest changes have been saved as the Illustrator file closes automatically and the Illustrator export text JavaScript runs at the background, processing Illustrator documents from the selected folder. All the text strings from the Illustrator file are now listed in one editable document. Navigate to the string CSV file and open it. Here you can see a number of rows with the file name and the exported text string separated by a semicolon. Altogether, we have nine text strings in our Illustrator file and there are four nine rows in our list. Substitute each English string with the corresponding translation. In our case, we translate into Russian. Make sure you haven't removed any semicolon separators and haven't added any extra spaces. Now we need to translate our Illustrator document by importing translated strings from the string CSV file. To do this, open your Illustrator file. Go to File, Scripts, Illustrator Import Text. In the new window, navigate to the string CSV file with the translated strings and click OK. The Illustrator file closes automatically. To see the resulting translation, navigate to your Illustrator file and open it. As you can see, the script replaced all the English text strings in our Illustrator file with the corresponding Russian translation. Some of the target strings appear to be longer than the source ones. Therefore, you need to do some adjustments to fix truncations and overlapping that might appear. Thanks for watching. Please stay connected to find out more new solutions for desktop publishing work optimization.